everyone. So I was cleaning out my house for a lot of old packaging and boxes that I no longer wanted to keep. I actually <laughs> decided to chuck out a bunch of um, uh, lock seed packaging, like the big plasticky ones, uh, some other random old boxes here and there, and a lot of old uh, magazines um, like Giga Hobby. If you saw earlier in my channel, uh, they just before they closed down, I bought like the last nine issues. So I'm checking those out. I did ask if anyone wanted them on like Hong Kong. Facebook fan pages and whatnot, but someone said they wanted it, but never replied to me. It's been a week, so I'm checking those into the recycle bin. And I also decided to have a look at a bunch of other cupboards and drawers to see what other old stuff I can dig out that were no longer, uh, you know, no longer any reason to keep. Um, yeah, so I have a bunch of these old computer and console magazines. Here's one of them. This is PC Gamer from. Uh, let's see, April 2003, um, and, um, and before we go through the actual magazines, back then, when the, they also come with a lot of uh, goodies and stuff like here, so, yeah, internet was not as fast back then, so having a little book of cheats was considered a thing, um, if you guys remember these, if you don't, then here you go. There are 5,923 tips um, from Game Master. And uh, let's see, it's got like uh, PC, a PC, Game Boy Advance, PSP, uh, DS, GameCube, Wii, Xbox, Xbox 360, PS2, PS3. And, um, you know, all these books will be about the same size, just random cheats and stuff that you can do. Uh, let's just go through, like, let's go to a random page in the middle. Let's see, Predator, Concrete Jungle, oh, that'd be PS2 or Xbox. Uh, bonus mission, all missions requiring a certain person to be killed will have a bonus symbol over their head. That's not a cheat. What's before that? Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Okay, so you got, you know, like, uh, change wheels, car floats in water, etc. So all these different cheat things. All of these you can get on the internet these days. Um, so, you know, these books are pointless now. Let's see, what's this one? Get... How to get 40 trophies in 60 minutes. Oh, first you need all of the games that they list on here. Uh, Pain, let's see. Uh, Pixel Junk, Eden, Warhawk. Oh, Fallout 3. Uh, just a bunch of different games and stuff. How to get trophies. That's when the cheat cheat things uh, disappeared. When, you, when there were achievements and trophies, there were no more cheats in new games anymore. Which is sad. I uh, like those fun cheats that you get. So they had to start swapping these into achievements and stuff. Let's see. Uh, the Force Unleashed, Devil May Cry 4, Mercenaries 2, Lego Batman, Battlefield, Bad Company. Bad Company was a good good one. Uh, Bad Company 2, not so much because they got too serious. Um, Bad Company is meant to be a silly thing. And okay, you got some black and white prints there, different cheats and stuff. So yeah, it's just interesting to look through some of these and go, ah, and then not look at it ever again. These things just get up a phone and get it. This one has uh, Fable 2, Dead Space, Saints Row 2, Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway, and Midnight Club, Los Angeles. Uh, Fable 2 was alright. Uh, yeah, different cheats and achievements. And uh, they still say, yeah, cheats, tips, achievements, and secrets, and whatever, because cheats didn't work anymore. So, let's see, this is the top 10 PS3 games solved, plus every PS3 A to Z game review ever. Is that possible in a tiny book like this? Presents free of PSN. PSM 107. So is that is that possible? We got Bioshock here right in the middle. I'm getting ink all over my thumbs. Um, oh, these are just positions. Uh, picked up Timmy H. Savannah, Upper Wrath near Little Sister in the Corpse. What's this? Audio flashbacks. He's just telling you where all the uh, little secret things that you can pick up are. An incredible open-ended experience, but you're gonna going to need a lot of patience to truly savor it. Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Yeah, you need a lot of time to play that game. I actually completed that uh, with both expansion packs on the Game of the Year edition PS3 disc. Didn't run into any glitches whatsoever. I was quite lucky. Uh, but then again, that's, the game was out for a while then. So, I guess they sort of did reviews of everything. Let's see, Tommy Haw Tom Tony Hawk's Proving Grounds. Oh, for a Bumper package with some great new ideas, but surprisingly it's a bit rough around certain edges. So they got these little squares of reviews and whatnot around here, so, but, um... Uh, well, it's on Half-Life 2, or well, whatever. PSM Freeze by a guide, so... Eh, 
And then glass, apart from that, you guys got certain other goodies. Let's see, I'm just gonna go for the bigger stuff first. Um, you got like subscription cards, uh, explosive. Those, anyone from the UK remember these? These are like the budget line. They would just take random games and uh, you open the box and it's just the disc inside and the manuals and stuff are all burnt into the actual disc. And uh, sometimes these games would get messed up because the original game had like awkward um, copyright protection and these discs kind of step around it but not quite and sometimes the games mess up a little bit. So, um, what games are here? Uh, let's see, Real Estate Tycoon, Ooh. War Commander, uh, Rev Revolt Lucian, uh, what's that, Horse? Play um, Golf Resort Tycoon 2 Gods and Generals. Ugh. Hey, you can receive a discount if you enter that code at the bottom. <laughs> uh, £4.99 games, many games to choose from at explosive.net. So, yeah, the budget line pretty much. Eurobracer, Shanghai, oh crap, Bubble Bubble, Double Pack. What's that? Uh, Big Muffer Truckers. Ugh. Guys, you had better titles like House of the Dead or something, you could have put that on promotion, it would have been better. Ay -ay. Oh, win win that lotto, no. Uh, a um Wa M M O. Warhammer Online, Age of Reckoning. Is that even going still? I think it's probably gone. Oh for R3. Uh DC Universe Online, that's pretty much dead. Um Lord of Wars and um Ultima Yeah, pretty much all dead games. Oh, save up money on whatever. Um, <laughs> and then the Ways Meant to Be Played, Enemy Toy Quake Wars. Yeah, the one that no one really played back then, I think. Everyone was just like, yeah, it's kind of crap. And it was. Uh, it was one of those earliest games that did not have a single player option. And um, Medieval 2 Total War, that was a lot of fun. Um, I remember really wanting to get Quake Wars because I really liked Quake 1 and 2. Um, Quake 4 was okay, but then Quake Wars came along and I was like, eh. Core Flowers, the first one was good, and then the next ones were kind of crap. Uh, Windows Fistas coming, <laughs> oh bloody hell. Havoc, there's a bunch of fun. Oh, what's this? That's uh, Beyond Good and Evil, a game that's still not out yet, the sequel. Titan Quest, hmm. Rise of Nations, Rise of Legends. Always wanted to play this, but never got around to it. Rise of Legends, I was like, oh cool, World War II stuff versus fantasy strategy game, that's really cool. And one of the magazines came, Games Radar, presents a Midnight Club Los Angeles little mini guide thing. So this entire book is like maps and stuff, the different cars you get for Midnight Club Los Angeles. I never played this game, but there's all like a little mini thing that's just coming here. Um, you know, all different uh, locations. Uh, you see the map paper? Actually, did I play this? I feel like I've played it, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh well, and then finally, I think this is a kill zone newspaper. Now this, I'm probably not checking out this. I'll probably see if I can set it off or something. It's not in the best state, but uh, is it kill zone? It's just a newspaper thing, which I think is kill zone. Oh no, resistance. It says resistance on the back. Stupid me. Uh, yeah, it's a tiny newspaper sort of thingy. America under attack. Americans, really, and yeah, it's all done in like an actual newspaper kind of thing, like articles and stuff. So it's like yellow. That's not the paper itself, it's because it's actually gone slightly yellow. Uh, it's pretending to be from 1953. Yeah, a bunch of some guys smoking. Hey, crossword puzzle. I wonder if we can actually play this. Let's see. Let's see. There's a daily crossword, and it says the name given to virus infected creatures. Seven letters. So I guess zombies. Um, o -M -B -I -E. no, that's six. Six letters. Um. So seven letters for that. The Central Intelligence Agency is better known as Huge Monsters have been called this Shoe for your wheels A long Chevy The virus came from this country Etc etc So it's like a resistance based um, uh, Crossword puzzle So that, that's a thing um, Now obviously this says May 1953 But of course it wasn't published in May 1953 So when was this published? Uh, 2008 uh, Resistance to 2008 fake newspaper. So I wonder if anyone actually wants that. Um, oh, who knows? Somebody, I'm sure somebody wants something like that. So, apart from that, you also got a bunch of uh, discs. 
So that'll be better than people remember these. A DVD ROM full of games, movies, tools, mods, and extras. Yeah, the mods on this disc. A double DVD disc and uh, 9 gigs of free fun. Double. So I was on the double sided one, so it's still cheap because it's 4.5 gig DVD, but you got double sides. 21 utilities to boost your PC, anti spam, virus killer, firewall, game apps, drivers, mini utilities, and more. Uh, let's see what's on here. <laughs> so we got a whole list of stuff on here. Let's see. Uh, side A demos, Red Alert, full game. Oh, that's not a demo, that's a full game. Uh, FIFA 9, Multi Rinia, Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, Episode 2, Strong Bad, I guess. Uh, Bradia, The Free, Death Track Resurrection, Strange, Strange Attractors 2, Zell Zenith, Tank Universal, The Political Machine 2008, and Zaki Kong. Hmm. And, oh, indie games. Add Natsumium 2, Ether, A This Stuff Conspiracy, Mind's Eye, Mondo Agency, uh, The Infinity Strange, Strange Attractors, Sydney Finds Employment, and Psychosomium. Hmm. Patches for Spore, Stalker, and Witcher, Clear Sky, Witcher Enhanced, Clear Sky. And Trials too, so you got a bunch of stuff there. I don't know what Foul Play is, you got Frontline Fields of War, Medieval Tools of War, Flat Out, Sins of Assault, Empire, Stalker, etc, etc. Ah, Foul Play, are there trainers? Because this is Devil May Cry 4 trainers. So for those of you who don't know what a trainer is, it's a cheat software made specifically for a certain version of a game that you can just push a button as an extra, like an app or something, that uh, does things to your game. Uh, you got galleries of just a bunch of random photos and stuff, different games like Fallout and Starcraft and stuff. Side B has de other demos and got classic demo explore creature creator. You got uh, mods, uh, Stalker, Oblivion Lost, Crisis Mod, uh, blah blah blah. And you got trailers, Brothers in Arm, Hell's Highway, Brutality at War, Cities XL, Lego Batman, etc. And uh, resources, PC Gamer Podcast Collection, DIY Materials, The Big Fat Online Games Glossary. Uh, the Bigger Game Hunt, let's see, the PC Gamer Dictionary, PC Gamer Directory, PC Gamer PC Companion. Hmm. I remember one of those PC Gamer Companion things, I don't think of what it, what it, what it was. It would categorize all the games that you had, like a little checklist. Uh, for more and further Im information, go to page 124. And uh, toolkits, you got old versions of Fraps, DOSBox, that's what, this is where I actually learned about Fraps, so it can be called like gameplay footage and stuff the uh, first time. Uh, performance, you got like patches and drivers from NVIDIA and GeForce, and actually this is this was quite useful back then, um, because you know internet wasn't that fast. So if you were gonna get the magazine anyway, it was just easy to have the driver already on a disc. Uh, got some media managed stuff like FileZilla. I still use that at the office. <laughs> Mo Mozilla Firefox, Open Office, and WinWar, WinAmp. Who remembers WinAmp? Who still uses WinAmp? Why do people still use WinApp? Um, someone explained that to me. And you got like Media Player Classic. Huh. Now, I'm not going to do that with every single one of these. I have a whole pile of them, but I'm just going to go through some of them. Let's see. There's a few more PC gamer ones. And uh, let's just see which ones I've got here that are PC gamers one stuff. Uh, oh, here's another PC gamer one. This is from. Oh, the last one was from when was it? From. Let's have a date. 2008. And this one's from 2007, so even older. Oh, Supreme Commander. Don't, don't play that. Uh, I got Simon Max, Lot of Rings Online. Oh, that was the thing. Risk 2, yeah, great. Um, and here they move fraps to uh, toolkits, game apps. Hmm, fair enough. Got similar stuff, bunch of bunch of videos. Age Empires 3 patches. <laughs> oh boy. This one's from. Um, 2006 seems it seems I have one from each year and I have to have more 2006 ones see back then I was in uh, a boarding school and the uh, internet stuff was crappy and restricted and even though we we're in a boarding school we had to still follow like day school rules like no going on eBay why Be because reasons no going on Facebook why uh, you get kidnapped or something uh, no piss off you fat computer management guy um, it looked like the that guy from Jurassic Park, you know, computer guy who, who messed up everything, the villain. Not the actor, I mean, he, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but he, the character he plays is a douche. And uh, in our boarding school, we had literally the same douche. He, just a British version. <laughs> um, yeah, just a bunch of videos and stuff, a condemned trailer. 
Uh, I'm assuming none of these would be HD either, even though they're not technically a DVD. It's DVD ROM, not a DVD video. Here's another 2006 one. Got that Tomb Raider. Lara's back and she's ace. No. Um, let's see. This one's from 2006 as well. And Battle for Middle Earth 2. That was okay. One of my friends played it, but um, we only had laptops at the boarding school, so uh, not many people can actually play new games. What are the trailers they are? Gem Shop. Oh, uh, what's this one? Oh, these are ones that were in the uh, actual DVD boxes, like longer cases. So I chucked away the box. Or, or you know, took this out from the box. And uh, this one's from 2006 as well. Um, playable demos, Hammond Strike. Mm. And uh, it wasn't the only PC magazine around. There was also P CD Zone 1 and 2. Driver Drift 3R and Half Life 2. And um, these were from. Oh, these from. Let's say a year. Oh well. Oh, that's Hitman. Uh, Blood Money, I think. Uh, Blood Money demo. Hmm. Battlefield 2. And uh, if there's not all the PC ones, I don't want to go for all the PC ones first. Ah, this is probably the oldest one. I recognize this one as the oldest one. 2003. Uh, this one's from. And this side, it's from. I don't, I don't know. Okay, it wasn't even uh, DVDs yet because these are CDs. So these are 2005. So you're going to get less demos on these and less videos. The Sims 2 Content Manager. Giant Baby, Fear to Screen, Fool the Bottle. So just a few selected mods that they like that chuck in there. Obviously, these days we just go on like the Sims archive online, like the mod archive online, get a bunch of those. And only one video in here because, you know, videos were rare and hard to get back then because of reasons of bad internet. And uh, I actually don't have the label for this one. This one's even older. Uh, remember, we got Tron on the cover, so we know that's in there. Mm. Playable demo for Fahrenheit. I remember actually getting that working on my uh, crappy laptop back then. I was like super excited and I got the game and I thought it was okay. Fahrenheit was a decent enough game. but um, And then there was recently a remastered version, I think, that wasn't really remastered. So, oh, one more, just to, because it was here. A Bond Blu-ray sampler. Hmm, whatever. Okay, so, yeah, we've got some PlayStation 3 and, like, Xbox ones here. So, these were not really proper PlayStation discs. They were just... DVDs, um, HD movies. So obviously you weren't going to get HD movies on actual DVDs. So what you do is you put this into a PC or something to watch those, or access access it via some sort of uh, the, the PlayStation Free management thing. And Alone in the Dark Inferno. I remember that being sucky. World of War, Call of Duty. That was good. So yeah, it didn't actually come with any um, any demos on these discs. Just videos, and it actually has some reviews on here. Video reviews. So um, now that these, I'm not even sure if these are still around. These companies. So you got two of these. Anything interesting in here? Bioshock Two. That was decent. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, over 200 minutes of non-stop PlayStation action. Uh, not really. <laughs> oh, here's one more PlayStation. Play this. Uh, DVD. 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 Uh, heavy rain. A lot of shadow. Coming soon. Stuff. So reviews and much much. And here we have some Xbox discs, which are Side A, the latest trailers and documentaries plus exclusive commentaries. Side B, HD movies that will blow your eyes out. N no. Plus customize your 360. No. Oh yes, these discs I'm definitely keeping because some of these discs actually came with exclusive uh, avatars or icons. I remember one of these discs contained... Um, Left for Dead. Ah, here we go. Uh, five exclusive gamer picks, and you just stick this disc in, and you can install it. And if you don't have this disc, you probably have to pay money for these gamer picks. So, I gotta be honest. I'm keeping all of these actual discs because these don't take too much space. But the magazines, I'm checking the recycle bin. And um, you see, bonus PC, PC content, screensavers. Yeah, anyone uses those anymore. Uh, five hours of podcasts and wallpapers. Oh, wow, retro podcasts. That's a thing. Uh, play it today, Banjo Kazooie and more. But again, none of these actually, actually, you know, saying that if these have a gamer pick in it, then that means, oh, there are actually demos on this one. Uh, Brothers and Arms 2, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, Banjo Kazooie XPLA, uh, Vigilant 8 Arcade, 
Lego Batman, uh, all of these demos, Portal's still alive, I think some of these are some mini games maybe, uh, these don't look like all complete demos, but um, no, but these ones, these are all just DVDs, and so these ones are crap ones, so the Xbox 360, the official Xbox magazine, it came with an actual Xbox disc, whilst Xbox World 360 came with crap. So after all of that, oh, subscription table, and finally, there's a really loud car outside, and finally look at the magazine itself, hooray, I wasted so much time on that. So this was, uh, this is the uh, April 2003, I guess DVD edition, because it's DVD, we got like, uh, let's see, Indiana Jones here. Did this ever come out? 2003, that was a game. Rainbow Six Free, Raven Shield. I need to get up to hold this magazine a bit better, or else none of you will be able to see anything. And of course, get this crap out of the way. So, this must be nostalgia for some people. This is for me a little bit to an extent. We can just sit behind. I'm crouching behind this camera right now and it's not very comfortable um, I need a better way to do this all right think that's better uh, we got um, Indiana Jones there oh, and Empress 2 that definitely came out I remember playing a few levels of that and it got really annoying because I think the game was optimized optimized properly Man of Valor, uh, Worms 3 this is actually pretty good but uh, obviously Worms 4 mayhem like fix all the issues of that game uh, so many old reviews there mm. Uh, dates with ladies, no, The Sims Superstars, remember that, Great Escape, that was a game, not the Hulk game, and um, mini reviews for, for lesser known games, uh, release dates coming out, uh, oh, PC World Voucher, which, um, has it expired yet? Maybe you can still use that. Oh, about to April 2003, sorry, no, it's expired. Uh, Battlefield Command. Not an actual Battlefield game, a command game. Warrior Kings Battles. Now, I did play Warrior Kings. I actually kind of I wanted to like it, but I just... It was just really slow and awkward, so I just went back to playing Age of Empires, which was much better. Big Mother Truckers. Ugh. Uh, American Conquest. Duke Nukem now, obviously. <laughs> Go figure. And, uh, oh wow, look at that, an old Nokia phone. Hmm, I cut something out there, Star Wars Jedi Knight. Why did I cut that out? Hmm, weird. And then, uh, what, who the hell is that? Oh, I recognize him from somewhere. Hmm. And then uh, Duke Nukem, oh, different cosplays of uh, Tomb Raider. We got an advert for, um... It's an advert, but it doesn't tell you what it's advertising. Painkiller? I don't know. Unreal? Doesn't say. A terrible advertisement. It's not a part of this, the rest of the article. Oh, different PC builds. Empress Tomb here. That was fresh and new at some point. And this is terrible because you can hardly read it. Freelancer. Recognize the name. But um, let's, let's go through faster through this. Blood Rain. Yeah. Whoa. Whatever that is. Oh, I got a. Did I draw? Did I draw that was part of the magazine. Yeah, true that. <laughs> Stick men on his tongue. I'm being silly. Um. Yeah, this is just like different reviews. So you got reviews, reviews, reviews. Some posters and stuff. I, feel, I remember cutting out a lot of the posters from these magazines. The ones that I like, like a Dynasty Warriors one. Uh, so I'm gonna have it on my wall. You got some like uh, budget stuff here, and uh, Soldier Fortune Two. That was fun, but one was better, and three was utter trash. And you got that random online gaming. Is anything interesting here? Got some old graphics cards advertisements, and um, hmm. kind of crap. We got a bunch of these to go through. So um, that was PC Gamer. So I'm gonna get all the PC Gamer ones out. So obviously this is going to be a long video, and if it's not interesting to you, then by all means don't watch. But some people will be you know, nostalgic for some of these. Uh, this one is 2003 August. So, got a bunch of stuff in here, just going to go through this thing. Anything interesting in here? 
Lord of the Rings, Return of the King game, that was alright. Sniper Elite. Yeah, that's that's still still going. Uh, Warcraft 3, the Frozen Firm. Medal of Honor, Splinter Cell, Well Ghost Tycoon 2, Wacky Worlds, yeah that's good. And uh, oh old Harry Potter games, Quidditch World Cup. You know, the older Harry Potter games were a different beast on their own. Broken Sword. Always curious but never got into it. Some Xbox stuff. Half-Life 2. Hmm. Colin McGregor Rally, got a poster there. Oh, nice little open public. That was a thing, a good thing, it's still good. Recently released on the Android and I played it, crap out of it. Age of Wonders, oh, Worms 3D. Oh, Enter the Matrix, that game was alright. I think it's literally impossible to mod Neo into it or something. Gothic 2. The Hulk. Oh, Ghostmaster was a pretty fun game. Um, for a few levels. For like a few hours and then it gets boring. It repairs it very quickly. Um, I think got no space to sit there for Oh, Great Escape again, advertising. So you got to ask, if they're advertising Great Escape, how are they going to review Game Great Escape? Without it going all weird and stuff. Oh, really quick gamey game reviews. Black and white. Uh, let's see. Got, oh, you got them different um, genres. You got the first person and stuff. And um, let's say, oh, we got X Wing and Tie Fighter. X Wing and Tie Fighter is one of those games that always stayed in PC PC gaming because I mean, it's a good game, but it, it will always show up. I think from my memory, Rise of Legends, Nations. And uh, got other advertisement stuff now. Let's see, got some oh, advertising. Oh, different systems. I don't see anything interesting in any of these. Hmm. I don't know if anyone's archived any of these magazines. I'm sure there's like a digital copy of some of these somewhere. But, um, yeah, pretty cool cover. I bought it literally because it was Fallout 3. But this will be a slightly newer one in uh, 2008. Ads, well, Quantum of Solence, not a bad game actually. I mean, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Well, advertising laptops, man, laptops back then, they were so crap but so expensive. Come oh, on, anything good? Oh, Dead Space poster, this is a nice poster for some of you who like Dead Space. Pretty good poster. Deus Ex 3, ew, what's that? Oh, I thought it was like people having sex or something, but no, it's just some guy's fingers. Nice poster. What was that? Some toys? Yep, toys. Oh, World of Warcraft stuff there. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, little mini laptop advertising magazine. Hooked right in the middle and sacred too. Oh, World of Warcraft. Wrath of the Lich Kings. That was all PC games were back then. World of Warcraft and stuff. And um, I never cared for that. Never cared for MMOs and still don't because they kind of suck. Oh, this nice poster, a nice big print of Left 4 Dead. New from Valve. <laughs> we will never count to three. Oh, Gears of War 2 poster for those of you who like that too. Mm, you can see a lot of Xbox uh, efforts here. What's that old Lego Batman? Oh, PC tech ads. This is where I start going fast again near the end. If it's anything interesting. I think they sometimes have mod showcases at the back. Something about the other oh, disc that you have. So, so this this you can have some of this stuff, and then uh, whatever that poster is. Oh, that is. We got some mad games. This this replays explosive for the uh, cheapy PC games that you can get, and um, I think it's actually related to PC gamer. Oh, hello, bully. Oh, look. Some people are gonna love this cover because it's got. What's her name? Alex or something? Oh, Rise of Nation. Uh, Rise and Force of Life of War. Now, this was interesting. This was, this was a strategy game, but you can zoom in on the hero character and play a third person action game, like kind of like Dynasty Warriors. But it wasn't as fun as Dynasty Warriors, and the strategy part wasn't as fun as Age of Empires. So it was a bit of bit half of everything, so it was just kind of crap. 
Oh, remember this? This Indiana Jones demo that came out. There was a long video about it too. It's like, oh, this new gen and stuff. And then we got the Force Unleashed. And then never got this Indiana Jones game. Look awesome. They had to... I mean, the tech was amazing. But they had to limit it down for the Xbox 360 and PS3. And then they never released this. That was for the PC. I blame George Lucas. It was clearly his fault. Thanks, Lucas. Uh, Dreamfall, he always intrigued me too, but I never played it. And again, a lot of adventure games intrigue me, but I never got around to playing it. Titan Quest, some big posters there, so... There are obviously less posters than the other magazines you look, I, I flipped through, because I probably cut them out for some... to stick them on my wall at my boarding school. And, oh, oh yeah, Dawn of War, that was good. Uh, some of these uh, didn't even have copy protection, just took the disc in, install it, didn't even need the disc, that was awesome. Well, XPS laptops. Yeah, they still have the XPS brand name going on. <laughs> Funny gamer stabs. Let's look at this. It's probably interesting here. I think, maybe. Someone giving a blowjob. A weird color thing. Someone having sex with a dragon. Uh, no, no. I, I regret looking taking a closer look at that page. No, uh, just... Uh, Half Life 2 episode 1. Where's episode 3? God damn it. It's been like however long now. And uh, mini reviews again. Why did double reviews? It's stupid. Adverts, stuff that's on the disc. Anything interesting? The Island. Hmm. Uh, Half Life level mod thing. Oh, there's a Final Fantasy poster here. I mean, it's a nice poster. Final Fantasy 11. Didn't mean much to me. Well, some Oblivion stuff. Beyond Oblivion. So I've got some like Oblivion guidey stuff there. And oh, Hitman. This is cool. Dude. Oh, that was a cool poster. It's not anything I ever put on my wall, but it's cool, I guess. So apart from PC Gamer, we also have a. Uh, well, there is a uh, PC Zone and a uh, Battlefield 2. And then. Remember Battlefield 1, 1942 and 2? Still like a very long time in between. Oh, what game is this? For killer Nurse. What is it? You Are Empty. That's the name of the game. No wonder no one remembers it. So, that looks alright. You Are Empty. Um, what was I say? Oh, American's Most Wanted. That was a gimmicky game. I played a little bit. for thought it was crap. Uh, you hunt down like a... Uh, bin Laden and stuff. I almost said Obama. You go hunting down Obama. No, it Bin Laden, America's top ten, like most wanted criminals. You just hunt them down in a crappy first person shooter. It's uh, kind of similar to what you get um, on Steam. The on Steam, uh, like those small games, crappy games that Jim Sterling always uh, looks, but uh, slightly more functional. Hmm, Manhunt. Uh, yeah, I was talking about. What game was I talking about? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Can't remember already. Public Commandos. Halo Star Wars, pretty much. But not wasn't that good. Yeah, then again, I don't think Halo is that good. Um, I'm skipping through a lot of these now because I'm just getting. I'm getting bored too because I'm not finding games that I, you know, generally want to look out for. Um, Thief at the Shadows. Because like. You know, the idea of going through some of these is maybe there are games that people have forgotten that came out. Well, we did find one that people have forgotten, but it didn't look that good. You are empty. Hmm. Second helping of desert. Yeah, this game looks crap. Online game. MMOs, no wonder. Warhammer Online and... Uh, doo -doo. Let's see, something good. Fight Club. Toontown Online. No... Uh, yeah, that was it. You do a first person thing, you had a really crappy like street fighting battle or Tekken or something. A really crap version of that. And then you catch the bat, catch the bad guy or call or kill them. Yep, yeah, this tells you stuff you get on the disc and uh what's this? Oh just a crappy advert and um So we still have a few more PC ones. This is a free one I remember just picking up randomly uh, in, in a shopping mall. Issue 85, it was... 
Go just eat a cane of con. Ugh, it's got all moldy. Well, that's your legacy. Bad Boys 2, the, the game. Yeah, I remember getting seeing this, Forbidden Siren. Eventually I played the PS3 remake and then I thought it was okay, but uh, that was it. Oh, look at this, this old advert for mobile phone games, before they were, when they were still actually games. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in on that. Actual game games. They were, I mean, they weren't all, some of them were actually pretty decent side scrollers, like the 13 one, I remember really liking. And I was got really annoyed that the 13 game ended on a cliffhanger, the actual first person shooter. But so did this one. It was a nice side scroller. I actually really want a sort of Java emulator for the phone so I can actually play some of these games again. Some of the best games on these, like these Java games, included the Doom RPG, and there was a, like an Aux one. Um, it's software, licensed a few out, including Wolfenstein one as well. Those were really, really good. And all the Splinter Cell games I actually prefer on the mobile phone than the actual first Splinter Cell game. Weird, huh? Actually, yeah, it's right there. It's one of the best ones. I guess these are all really good ones. The Prince of Persia as well. I prefer the mobile one over the actual one. I did beat Sounds of Time, but um, I didn't like the other two. I prefer Prince of the classic Prince. No effort for Mafia. Oh, that was it. Yeah, because uh, Mafia... Got, finally got released on consoles like years after the PC version. No oh, explosive. That mafia here. Uh, let's see James Bond double everything or nothing. Yeah, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't great, but it was okay. A lot of Bond games were okay. Black Hawk Down. This is a really crappy first person shooter. I don't know what the big deal about it was. But Delta Force, it was, yeah, I just found it crappy. Maybe because I already played much better games by then, and when, it, when you go back to it, it was just kind of crappy. Ancient Empires, that was, I remember playing that too, that was good, that was a mobile phone game. Uh, you know, look at a PC magazine, which probably had all these mobile phone games that were better. Um, yeah, that was, that was good. That was a good game. It was like Advance Wars, but like dragons and stuff. Hmm, yeah, there's some bigger pictures for it. Uh, oh, more mobile phone games. Anything good here? I got like, what do you got? Like, like uh, Rayman 3, uh, Worms, FIFA, Rayman Bowling. Yeah, they're pretty much saying, hey, you can text these numbers and get the game or something. So, yeah, this has been the most interesting one. It's been the free one. It wasn't paid for anything. True Crime Street to Bed A. Oh, cheats and stuff. Yeah, that's not good. Hmm, that's that. Ugh, moldy. How about this one? Game Master. Got Batman around the code. It's probably why I got it. Uh, am I still focused? Yes, I am. House of the Dead Overkill. I have that on PC now. I haven't played the PC version yet. I, I did play complete the Wii version. Oh, oh graphics card. Um, slice to me. Oh, the Wolverine game. That was pretty good. Wolverine Origins game was pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, super expensive game pads just because it has Street Fighter on it. Now, Terminator... Was this Terminator Salvation game? Yeah, it was. Uh, this was budget Gears of War, I remember. I played the food hole thing on the PC and I thought it was actually... Well, it was decent, it's just budget Gears of War. I don't know why people hate it so much. I mean, it was short and... I guess for the full price it's crap, but... Um, it was alright. I am alive. I played a bit of that, got really bored. Mad World, uh, it was fun for two minutes. Yeah, two overrated. Oh, there's an evil five. It looked nice at the time. Prefer six over five. Five. I really hate the little chapter things on five. And um, GTA Four, Lost in the Dam. Actually played all the expansion packs of that game, uh, but I, I never completed. Um, did I complete any other? I've only completed GTA Four and its expansion packs. Not even GTA Five. I played a lot of it, but I never completed it. Welcome to the Madhouse. Yep, Arkham Asylum. I was like, I'm gonna play that. Oh, look, here's a nice poster of GTA 4. So you can. Is that right in the middle of the book? Yeah, it is. The nails right, the uh, staples right there. So you can unstaple this and get a full poster of GTA 4 if you think she's hot or something. Oh, I've got some me's there. Oh, look, there is, there's his face. You know, some Games Master is a bit of everything. Street Fighter 4, just regular, not complete edition. Overkill, that was cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pikmin, Bomberman, 
Ten, Dark War Two. Is that Mobile Masters? No. They're more like mobile games going on. Uh, DS games. Maybe, oh, Sonic Unleashed. What a piece of crap. Mess in pieces. Hmm. So, that was a whole bunch of uh, mostly PC stuff. And, um, yeah, here's another freebie to uh, cut that in half. Uh, Heroes and Villains Calendar. So, nice picture of Ryu there. A Ryu. The Killzone 2 poster. There's an evil poster. A game that shall not be named. A pretty good game. A pretty good game too. Uh, yeah. well, decent game. Didn't like it. Liked it. Thought it was okay, but don't like it anymore. And uh, yeah, got a whole Resident Evil 5 sort of cover thing going on there. So that, that's a thing. So, um... Let's move on to PlayStation magazines. I've got three of these here. This one again has Fallout all over it. And the old cover variants. You know, it'd be cool if the cover variant was just this picture, but no, they put all of them there. So you actually kind of get all the variants anyway. Oh, look, another Midlife Cup book. Let's not go through that. Got some Solens and Call of Duty World of War posters. There's a double page spread. Oh, anything special on this PlayStation magazine? Nope. Creepy. No. No. Xbox adverts in the PlayStation magazine. Makes perfect sense. Fallout 3 and stuff. Guitar Hero. Skates. You know, I'm just going to see if there's anything interesting. I say that as soon as I see something interesting. Hey, Injustice. I mean, that being pretty cool when we first uh, saw it coming out. That was nice. Guess what, too. Again, Xbox adverts on the PlayStation magazine. Well, Blu-ray makes sense because it's Sony. Overrated movies. Don't like them too much. Oh, some interesting Sackboy levels. and uh, Oh, their first level from the people there. So they made that little figurine thing. Yeah, Little Big Planet. That was good. Far Cry 2. It's really crap. I didn't like Far Cry 2. I thought it was rubbish. I was like, where all the monsters go? This isn't Far Cry. And uh, the whole world was weird, and I remember playing on the Xbox, and the grass would rotate with you. I was like, this is ridiculous, this looks stupid, this isn't some, like, you know, back in the DOS ages where everything was rotating sprites. And then I played Far Cry 3, like, way after it was released, because I thought, oh, Far Cry 2 was crap, but then when I played Far Cry 3, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. And I played Far Cry 4, I thought that was amazing too, and I played Blood Dragon, I thought that was amazing too. But Far Cry 2, yeah, I found it too hated it. Uh, there's nothing interesting in here. FIFA. It's, uh, it's basically in one picture. Mm -hmm. Comparing all the new games, I guess. Uh, Bayonetta. Now a Nintendo exclusive. Yeah, crap, crap, crap. Yeah, there's something interesting in this one. It's no wonder these magazines are all just ended. What's that? More Bayonetta, I guess. Someone squeezing her boobs. Because, you know, titillation to sell magazines, right? Little Big Planet. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Little Evil. And these spreads are nice, though. These, these were nice. Street Fighter 4. Perfect PS3 arcade port. Eh, well, well, maybe. Again, with the Xbox adverts on the PlayStation magazine. Big PlayStation fans have got annoyed, like, oh, what's Xbox doing here? We hate Xbox. And the Xbox people having PlayStation mag uh, ads, like, oh, we hate that too. You remember when Call of Duty Zombies was a uh, one level thing? Hmm. Well, it's all just white text now. A London Dark Inferno got 70 points? For real? Even the fixed PS3 version can't atone for the game's flaws. 70. E <sighs> Paid reviews, guys. You see, these work so well. 
Oh, what else did they review? Force Unleashed. No, it wasn't a review of those. That's standard gameplay. Just. I don't know. I know. That's why these are going back up. Oh, look, it's this one with Alien Colonial, Mar Colonial Marines when they still looked good before it turned into travesty. Uh, so let's go find. Oh, hi, Sonic. In the PlayStation magazine. Um. Uh, fair enough, I guess. The end is nigh. Wanted to play those games, but um, didn't like going on PSN, so never got it. Uh, let's see. That was that Indian game review. Ghostbusters. That was a good game. Next game wasn't. What did they say about Sonic at the end? No, oh no, it's just an advert. It's talking about Red Faction Gorilla. Hmm. So. Oh, well, Uncharted, Bioshock, oh that's a nice poster of Rock Band or something. Sci-Fi Shooter Special, we got to Aiden Kanoma Marines, Chronicle of Reddick, Red, uh, Killzone 2 and Fear 2. Uh, mm. As he's like, yeah, this was still at the early builds of Aiden Kanoma Marines, where it was still considered possibly a good game. But we all know how that turned out to be. Complete lies and, and, and fakeness and disappointment and tears. People getting their forces and abortions because they're so sad. Well, maybe not that much. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to rush through all these old things. I still have a few of them. But, um... Uh, not really seeing anything that interesting anymore. It's probably why these things don't live anymore. Oh, what's this? It's here. Go view Sky on your Sony PSP. Why? Why? Why was watching movies on those crappy discs a thing and then watching TV on that? Back when internet was crappy, you'd need a crazy connection for that back then. Look at some Xbox magazines finally. 2008, the year ahead. Oh, we got Lego Star Wars. Oh, Assassin's Creed. Is this an action figure? Looks like an action figure. It's just part of the game. First four figures. Stuff. Hmm. But uh, yeah, a bunch of game. Oh, more GTA stuff. I think. Do -do -do. Oh, DivX. Finally playing on your 360. Remember DivX? That was like a special compression format to help uh, things. You know, get smaller but still looking decent. Oh, N Plus, really good game. That's something. It was on the PC first, but um, was it free on the PC? I think there was a free version, then there was a paid version, like a second game of paid version. Fahrenheit, uh, innovative movie experience. Well, at least I got that right. It wasn't much of a game. And um, oh, Halo Combat Evolved. I guess these are like backwards compatible games when they sort of did that and gave up. Dynasty Warriors 6, the worst Dynasty Warriors ever made. Apart from Warriors of Troy, that was a disgrace. Sun Hill 5, oh, they still call it 5, it didn't have a number when it was uh, released. It's, uh, the Golden Compass game, oh, Lost Odyssey. I heard that was okay, but it didn't get too far. Caden Lynch. That's that went way downhill later. The developers, Shrek and Roll, that was a that was on the Xbox. It was just a Wii game. A bunch of release dates. Call of Duty. Some weird Asian guys. Uh, do, do, do. I can say that because I'm half Asian. But if you say it, then you're racist. Unless you're Asian too. Oh, big Lego Star Wars spread. Back when the designs were still super simple. Now, I don't know, I'm just... Uh, I'm a bit fed up of Lego games because they're all the same game. And I think they've lost their charm. Uh, Lego... Universe, whatever. Lego Dimensions was just... The swapping uh, toy mechanic just tied me out. No, I'm not playing Lego games anymore. So Lego Dimensions killed Lego games for me, pretty much. You got Resident Evil here, of course, and um, 
Uh, let's see if there's any nice spreads here. Dead Space. Halo Wars. That was flawed. Resident Evil 5. Also very flawed. And then we've got some, well, some interesting uh, indie games. Platformers. That was a thing. I can't remember what it was. Brutal Legend. Oh, Jack Black. Where's your career now? Do you still have a career? I don't know. Fear 2. Stormrise, Battle Stations Pacific, I Am Alive Again. This is a really boring game. It looked like it looked so good, but uh, yeah, it was boring as hell. Guitar Hero Metallica, Few. That was pretty fun, actually. Few game. I remember having the demo for it. The, the Witcher, Rise of the White Wolf, Skate 2, which by all measures should be better than. Tony Hawk's, the modern ones. Uh, Race Pro, that's still going, that's kept updating, so that's really fun. Actually has a VR support now, Race Pro. Rise of the Argonauts, that was a thing. Battle Fantasia, Madagascar video game. Oh, the more. Hmm. So, um, <laughs> got some uh, reviews here, My Horse and Me. And Disney sing it, and well, two points, and it says the verdict: Why, 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 why for my horse and me? Uh, World Championship offer of racing truly stuck in the mud, and um, the dishwasher dead samurai got eight points. Hmm, that must be something. We're hoping for the dead again samurai sequel. And funny enough, actually. Um, I almost missed on this one. You see, there's a big Lego page here, and uh, oh great, there's Lego, good for kids. And um, in just a few pages later, we have <laughs> UK's mobile sex ad. Now it's not, not everything's been censored, but uh, yeah, this game, does this magazine say it's for 15 anything? Um, I think it should, should suppose, I think it's like a 15 or something. But still, Lego Star Wars jumping straight into pornography foam. Stuff these days we get free porn all over the internet, but that back then it was like, oh, you gotta pay for it. And uh, on those low resolution and slightly pixelated images on your crappy little Nokia phone, and um, yeah, oh, yeah, blitz, 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 blah, 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 blah. Here's the war guy, and then uh, oh, Tekken 6, and then so yeah, just more reviews Dragon Age Origins. I think that was like the low point for Dragon Age. But it overall survived pretty well. So much Call of Duty. I mean, you got like a huge thread. We've seen this advert a few times already just in this video. And of course, you got a review here, but it's got a good score. I mean, it was, uh, to be fair, it was a good game, but it's got 90. No, that's Tom Clancy. You got to 85. Oh. Actually, didn't get a perfect score because it put it towards Modern Warfare. And Tom Clancy's N1 actually got a higher war. How did Tom Clancy's N1 get a higher score than uh, World of War? This was a piece of crap. The uh, voice command thing was so gimmicky, it didn't really work. It was sluggish and crap. I've got Tomb Raider, I got 81. Need for Speed Undercover got 73. Now we're told the Broken Bot got 40. We've got 80. And Golden Axe Beast Rider got 45. Hmm, no wonder they're not doing Golden Axe games anymore. Magic Kazooie Nuts and Bolts got 85, but I remember many fans not liking it because well, it wasn't a thing. Oh yeah, Monopoly game, 39, that's 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 generous. Monopoly, the original board game, sucks anyway. And people still play the bloody thing. It's like, oh, let's get Monopoly out. I'm like, no, God, no, no, want to play that. Web of Shadows was okay, I guess, but got 59, yeah, fair enough. And scores here, it's interesting to see these old games and their scores. Yeah, Guitar Hero and whatever, Rock Band got like 89. Oh, hey, here's a nice poster of uh, Wonder Woman. That's good. That oh, was MK versus DC, which I actually enjoyed. What score did they give it? 70. Mm, fair enough. And uh, 50 game essential Christmas games from back then. We have Gears of War 2 and Dead Space, got Bully, uh, Grand Theft Auto, Dead Rising. Soul Calibur 4, Orange Ross, Project Gotham Racing 4, it was really, really good, but the company broke. Um, it's a shame, I would have really loved it if there was a Project Gotham 9 or, or you know, 5 or something that went back and gave us another Hong Kong map. I swear we're near the end, if you're still sticking 
here, then thanks for going down this nostalgic trip for these old magazines before they go in the recycle bin. Quantum of Souls again, actually never played the ES version, mm, could be fun. Um, Fable 2 advert, I don't know how much money you spent doing that. Oh, Fallout vs Oblivion, head to head, let's see, uh, I can't read it on the camera screen, sorry, but you're going to have to look at those adverts for now. I guarantee Windows Oblivion, well yeah, it's more colourful, Game World Oblivion, that's arguable, but I guess there's more text and more lore going on, so technically it would be Oblivion, but um, I find the Fallout world more interesting, personally. Uh, scraping! Do, 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 do. Oh, the fighting and stuff, yeah, Fallout's pretty better. Questing, they like Oblivion more. Uh, yeah, to be fair, Oblivion's a more interesting, diverse game in a way, but uh, I just, I prefer Fallout World a bit more. Yeah, it was funny, yeah, Halo you know, 3 was funny coming out, it was like, meant to be the last game. Fresh Duke Nukem Forever Images emerges. Ha 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 no, oh, that's space. Uh, did to do Arkham Asylum, Prince of Persia. Oh, this was a terrible game. What score did they give it? Was it a review? Oh, it was a preview. Skate Two, Quantum of Solace. Rage was disappointing. I mean, technically it was good, but it was a crap game. Mafia Two was also technically decent enough, but crap game. Crap, crap, crap. Mafia 3 is even worse, it, yeah, that, which is unfortunate, because the first uh, Mafia was an excellent game. Gears of War, me and my f buddy back in university, we played through all three, all four Gears of War games back then, including the uh, sp the free spin-off one, uh, all through co-op. It's like, I wouldn't play Gears of War unless it was for co-op, so we did that, and it was good times. Hey Matt, if you're here, but I'm sure you're not watching. Um... Thanks for 2 by 5 fair enough. I remember the gender bar was interesting. Nice, awesome poster of Fallout there. Might actually clip that out. That's nice. I'm gonna keep that page. Bits 2, Midnight Club again. Far Cry 2, crap, crap, crap. What did they give it? 87? Piss off, it was a crappy game. Fracture, this was a LucasArts game. It was actually quite interesting, but uh, the game itself was really boring. And it had an interesting mechanic where you can, like, deform the landscape with certain weapons, but um, fortunate, unfortunately you can't just sell a game just on the gimmick alone. Hello Mega Man. You have no games. Wow, remember this? The old, not the oldest, but one of the older middle ground Xbox 360 menus. Mega Man 9. Bloody hard. Bloody hard game. Whoa, lady stuff. Because of wrestling, yeah, this was the thing back then when they had the other side of the magazine being flipped upside down. It was a confused era for magazines; they weren't quite sure what to do. So that's that's the Xbox ones. And before we end this video, this long, long video, just looking at old magazines, flipping through them, uh, there were these special packaged ones um, because there were so apparently so many goodies inside that they would put them in a little paper fold, paper packet thing. And look, it's all like shiny and stuff. And um, on the Blu-ray desk, you got 21 games to play right now. So, uh, what games do we have with them? Does it actually have a list? Here's a PlayStation 3 Blu-ray, a bunch of stuff. Now, I assume this this will not work on my current PS3 because my uh, PAL PS3 actually broke down. Still haven't uh, got it fixed yet. So, but. Uh, Let's see, it's got um, Lego Batman, Alone in the Dark Inferno, Pez 2009, Gears of War, no, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, and Bioshock, and um, Brothers in Arms, Motor Storm Pacific, so you got a Force Unleashed, FIFA 9, Haze, and etc. So demo only, not for resale, so you got a bunch of PlayStation demo y games to play in it. But uh, they were usually in this sort of package for some reason. They always like, have a certain piece of goodie inside that they didn't want to get damaged or anything. Uh, I think this came with like a kill sound thing. Well, it's good because on 2 review... Well, I guess the Blu-ray disc was this bonus thing. It was like, hey, we're actually giving you Blu-ray discs now, so that's a thing. Um, 
Big advert for Loco Loco. That was pretty fun, actually. And was this PSP or yeah, it was still PSP? Not Vita yet. And so, uh, posters, Fear 2 poster. Yeah, Fear games are way more styled than actual funness. But, uh, you know, the rest of the magazine is pretty much the same. Oh, this is something. Uh, what's this? Do, do, do. Time splitters. Time splitters developer enters administration. Oh, that was a thing. Yeah, well, uh, there are fans to be making the time splitters games now, so I really hope that gets along. Who will survive the Secrets of Uncharted 2? That was a brilliant and fun game. Oh, Blu ray of The Punisher. I actually like that movie. Why did it didn't do well? I don't know why. No, look. Mobile phones with, oh no, some music players, Walkmans and stuff these days. Only specialized niche markets have music players left. Everyone just listens to music on their phone. Uh, PlayStation XX. But uh, yeah, apart from that, the paper packet, I actually, oh, here's a big face of uh, Snake. So, nothing really special left in this magazine, apart from that weird packet that they did. The magazine is actually thinner than the other ones I've flipped through already. Are there any other interesting posters in here? No. Nope, not seeing anything interesting, so let me skip that. Let's open this up and see what's left inside. Actually, this one's quite heavy. It's got a lot of stuff inside. Oh, it's got another one of those... Um, Newspapers. I got two copies of those apparently. Hmm. Uh, let's see what's inside here. Oh, another Midnight Club crap book. Another cheat Bible. This one's way thicker. Oh, because it's got double book. Um, eight to Z of PlayStation. Oh my god, trophies. And uh, let's see PlayStation DVD, double side DVD with HD PlayStation 3 demos. A little Big Planet, the DIY kit. Trailer footage, theme screenshots, and how to guides and more. An actual magazine itself, uh, finally an actual <laughs> cover of uh, World War, but uh, another one of these adverts again. Uh, Fallout splash screen. I'm just gonna go through this very quickly, see if I find anything interesting. Know how. Uh, let's see, the basics of file sharing between PC and PS3 by using your PSP for some reason. And uh, more DC versus MK. The war review. Did they give it a high score? Than the other one? Oh, they gave it 10 out of 10. Wonderful. And they gave 7 for Enwar. Thank God for that. And 4 for Golden Axe Beast Rider. And Silent Hill Homecoming. They finally changed the name. Got Midnight Club again. And you can probably notice that I bought all these magazines at roughly a similar time. Legendary DC vs MK. I got a big poster spread actually, so I'm keeping that. It's actually on my wall or something That's somewhere in a little folder of posters that I keep. And I think that's one of the bonus you got with some of these. And I got Max Payne, the film. No, that was a rubbish film. And finally, the last one, PC Gamer and a big Oblivion. Really cool Oblivion cover. Exclusive review. We're totally not biased when we get exclusive reviews. Anything else inside? No. It's got a uh, The Way It's Meant to Be Played, Lord of the Rings, then Video Magazine. Oh, Time Shift. That was a game. It uh, crashed after a while. So I didn't finish playing it. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Do, 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 Lord of Craft. Yeah, just saying, hey, our power's better than the Radeon stuff, so get ours. Oh, just a bunch of. Online gambler with a not hot girl and um, subscribe to stuff and more adverts. Crappy adverts. Crappy, crappy, crappy adverts. Last PC gamer. That's a really nice cover. It's probably why I was in the big package. Mm. Oh, Quake 4, which was fun, but uh, to be honest, was a disappointment. Star Trek Legacy. The Master Chief Returns. Do, do, do. Oh, screens on the back of your cars. Girls We Can't Advance Warfighter, that was a thing that people liked. I didn't like it too much. I preferred Rainbow Six. Hitman, a really big Hitman face there. Heroes of Might and Magic 5. Prey, that was a thing that's getting remade now. It has nothing to do with the original Prey. It was okay, played a little bit of it. Empire War, this was 
severely underrated. It was actually a pretty fun game, but it just didn't quite get where it needed to be. But I enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of good bits in it, but um, it was just a hint of something missing. Now well, this magazine is more like it. You got these all these big actual square pictures of the games with no text on them to get in the way. Mm. What was that? Oh, funny, supposedly funny pictures. No, they're all like sex pictures. Look at in weird positions. Look like they're having sex. <laughs> I remember being really excited for graphics like that. I was like, oh wow, an actual skeleton. And then, you know, with transparent bits and all that. Battle Middle Earth. Well, I actually might play that again. Looks fun. Uh, my hands are getting tired going through this. So yeah, all of these will be going in the recycle bin. So, Master Live, Edge, Crisis. First one was fun, the rest of Crisis 2 and 3 were just kind of crap. What's that game? What is that? Space Rangers. Hmm. Some of these games look fun. Obviously you need a lot more time and effort to actually look at some of this stuff. Some sort of online game? No. Oh, remember these? iPods, MP3 players. You know, iPod came iPod came out and this, the um, Zen from Creative was much better. It supported more formats than uh, and actually uh, functioned as what you would do today with a mobile phone. You just get a USB and stick it in and it works. Whereas the iPod it would mess everything up and due to copyright reasons or something or whatever uh, if all the files were renamed on the iPod so you can't easily just plug it in USB and take the file and give it to someone plus it was uh, it cost a bit more but the sound quality was better plays more stuff does has more functions this uh, the Creative Send was a far better machine than any of the iPod videos the memory was also a lot bigger and um, it actually had like radio had a few mini games on it you can actually change wallpapers and uh, just overall a nice experience. So, shame. Uh, I always knew I iPod and Apple were full of it, even back then. No oh, video game courses. That looks fun. And do 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 do, and that's the end. So, if you're still here, thanks for having a look with me through nostalginess and uh, old PC magazines and stuff. Like I said, all these will be going in the recycle bin. So. Well, have fun next life, PC Gamer Magazine.